Episode, what episode? Four. Five? Five. No, no. It's four. Okay. Episode four. We're going to talk about how people have fancy buns but no beef. Where's, Where's the beef? beef? Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is my vlog. So, should I explain it to him? Go ahead and explain it. Alright. So you'll see it in this video, but uh, basically sometime in the 80s, Wendy's had a commercial where it was all these old women sitting around the table, right? And it was this big bun. and But then when they flipped the bun back, right, it was a small beef patty. And then this old lady says, Where's the beef? And we are saying this is a metaphor for the society we live in now. So go ahead and explain you it to out, All your outside look all nice. You say you have all this natural hair. You got a bit nice, got a nice looking body. You think you, you got... You say you got a lot of stuff going with yourself. On the inside, you're just as regular as everybody else. Yeah. But but worse. You say you're trying to do all this. You, you want to be a dreamer, but you're not putting forth effort to being where you want to be. Yeah. You always have the excuses. Yeah. Your inside is the beef. Your outside is the bun. You have like this nice pretzel, nice baked, light brown toasted pretzel bun. But the beef is all red. Or a small circular one, look like the the fucking what's it called? Not, I just cursed. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I small, think... yeah, basically a small piece of meat in the middle of the bun. Yeah. It's not even cooked all the way. Not even no lettuce, no dependence, not no tomato, no mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup. Yeah, and from working in music, I've always said this: like, there are a lot of people out there who would rather look good striking out. Then do what they got to do to hit a home run. Like, a lot of people that would rather, you know, like, I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch baseball, and you see people that had, you know, dirty uniforms and all that stuff. You're like, man, why the uniforms so dirty? It's because they're out there playing hard. And then you see people that got clean uniforms. They're doing better. Right. Like, look at that guy that was doing the Nene dance for Mercer, that white guy. Yeah. Nobody's talked about the fact that he didn't score a single point in any of the games, I don't think. He, he didn't? No. He did the Nene dance, and he's all over the ESPN commercial, but I don't think that dude scored a single point in that game versus Duke. I'm gonna check that out. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying, that's what kind of society we live in now. <laughs> yes. That's all that matters. Oh, he didn't score nothing, but hey, he looked good. He danced. Where's the beef? There's no beef. All yeah. bun. All lightly toasted pretzel bun. It's kind of like... Eating a bread sandwich. Pretty much. I mean, it's kind of like, just because you, you think you're so... I mean, look, I know we grew up, right? We the generation of... Oh, you know, you're special. They tell you, hey, Jeffrey, you know, you're special. You can be an astronaut one day. I see a lot day. of potential in you. Yeah, but you know, potential don't mean nothing. Because in theory, it could potentially rain, but it could potentially not rain. You potentially suck. Yeah. I told somebody this recently, you know, like, even, you know, you're a kid, they tell you, you know, do good in school, you know, be smart. I was smart in school. But guess what? There's a lot of smart losers out there. Because you can have a lot of potential, but if you don't do nothing with it, what does it mean? It's like, oh, yeah, you know, people walk up to me, yo, you know, I got this new single, you know what I mean? You know, it's different. Okay. The hell does that mean? You know what I mean? Everybody said they're different. Like, yeah, everybody put so everybody much Everybody ain't different. Yeah, and then, like, you gotta... Like, they talking about the same stuff. I feel like people put, like, certain acts, you know, indie acts, put a lot of emphasis on the old school, right? They talk about, you know, mm -hmm. back in the day and Parliament, Funkadelic, they, real music. But what they forget is just because you dress the part, you look like George Clinton, or you look like Erica Badu, or you look like whatever, these people still deliver hit records at the end of the day. Right. You know what I mean? They didn't just look like something. They didn't look the part, but they, they act the part more than they look. Yeah, and that's my problem with people now, man. They go out there with pajamas. Nobody would care because they know they put on a good show. Yeah, but that's what, you know, that's look what... Look at Prince. Look at Prince. He had ass out jeans. Nobody cared. Because he had good music. Because he had good music. Exactly. He had more He had more beef than bun. Even though that still sounds like. Yeah. Because his beef was hanging out <laughs> in his bun. But I think Yuck. that's... Yuck! I just wish it was more emphasis on actually delivering. Not talking about what you're going to do. Not telling me how you're going to do it. Talk how you're going to do it. Just do it. And then when we, after you finish, just tell them what you, uh, what you just did. And then try to add them on to it. Just... I mean, that's the, that's the main problem with today now. People have dreams and then want to bring up, bring other people into the dream and waste their time. And they only had their dream together. And they only had their dream together. Yeah. That happened to me a lot of times. Yeah. In other words, don't call people 
Listen. and have planning meetings until you have your ideas concrete. I don't want to go to another planning meeting. First of all, I don't even just meet with people no more. I had to like phone call, no email, phone call, another phone conference, maybe Skype conference, then maybe a coffee shop meeting or dinner meeting. Why? Because people like to it's include, so, yeah, they like to include you in on a brainstorming process. Right. And it's like, man. But then sometimes they only, they won't even, uh, and sometimes they would use your brainstorm, but at times they'll just use you as, hey, I'm important. I want you to show you that I am important, even though I'm not. I just want you to see that, oh, I'm doing something with my life, even though I'm not. I'm just, show, I'm just giving you the illusion that I am. And I'm not mad, you know. It took me a while to learn some of this stuff. It's not like I just came out of my mother's womb knowing it's natural. I wasn't born, cut the umbilical cord. Oh, I know all this stuff. Nah, it took time to learn it. But I learned, you know, I used to say this all the time. Nobody's going to pay you at a job to learn on their dime. Like, they expect you to bring a certain set of skills to the table already. Unless they're paying you for training. That's understood already. Look at Beyonce. She even promote her album. Because she knew how she, what she was. She has she has more beef than bun. She has equal amount of beef and bun. It's because her brand is already intact. Exactly. And see that that ah uh, boy, that's a whole other can of worms right there. People who are out there, like basically, you know, I work for the label, right? This is kind of a rule of thumb. If it takes you twenty minutes to explain to me what you represent, that's a problem. Exactly. Like you need to be able to sum it up very succinctly. You know, I don't mean data and statistics and all that stuff, but I'm just saying, like, people are like, oh, I want to do like Beyonce. Beyonce could do what she did because her brand is intact. Right. She knows who she is as an artist. She has an established base. If you don't have an established fan base, you should not do what Beyonce did. Why? Because nobody cares. I was in the dark room, dark room, dark room, dark room.